Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know, from 15th of March, TCS NQT exams are starting. So on this particular channel, we have started the TCS NQT 2025 preparation series, wherein we are trying to bring previous year questions for each and every section that will be asked in your TCS NQT exam. In this particular video, I will be discussing the latest logical reasoning questions which are asked in TCS NQT. Okay. And last week only, we made a video on our YouTube channel wherein we discuss the latest numerical ability questions which have been asked in TCS NQT exam. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because each and every question that I am discussing here will be important for you because first of all, it has been asked previously in TCS and moreover, it will give you a better idea that what are the level of the questions you can expect in the exam. So guys, now let's start this video. Before starting the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and guys, do join this Telegram group. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. Okay. All the company discussion for 2025 batch are happening on this telegram group. The links you'll find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Okay. So now let's start this video. Okay. So guys, the first question is there are five rods K L M N O. The weight of O is twice the weight of L. The weight of L is equivalent to the weight of K and M combined. The weight of the M is twice the weight of the K. The weight of N is thrice the weight of M. If the weight of N is 90 kg, what will be the weight of O? See, these are logical reasoning questions. So there will be always, there will be some relationship given to you. Any uh, statements, conclusion will be given to you. You have to find out the answer based on them. So best practice for solving logical reasoning question is that every statement that is given to you, write it down on your, on a piece of paper. Okay. Now for saving time, what I have done, I have already written down the requirement, but is given in the question. Okay. So let me just repeat it. So the weight of O is twice the weight of L. So O equivalent to L. The weight of L is equivalent to the weight of K and M. So yeah, L is equivalent to K and M. The weight of M is twice K. So M is twice K. The weight of N is thrice of M and the value of N is 90 kgs. What you need to find? You need to find the actual weight of O. So let's just now see, we are given the value N. So let's just try to solve the equation and keep on finding all the values and in the last we'll find the value of O. So N here is given as 90. Now the relation is N is equal to 3 of M. So N is 90. So what will be M? So here M will be 30 because N is thrice of M. Okay. Now see, now see this relation M is equal to twice of K. So now M is 30. What will be K? So K equal to 15. It's that simple. Okay. Now we have all the values. Next relationship is L is equal to K plus M. So we are given M also, K is equal to also. So what will be L? L is equal to K plus M. That will be 45. So L is now 45. Now what will be O? O is equal to twice of L. So what will be O? O will be 90. So that is our correct answer. O is equal to 90. So you just have to follow step by step of each and every statement that will be given to you and your logical reasoning questions will be sorted. Believe me. Okay. So now this was it for this question. Let's move towards the next question. Okay. So guys, the next question is, which is the wrong term in the following series? CMQ, FPT, JTX, OYC and UFI. So you need to find that which is the wrong term here. So now when these type of questions ask, these type of questions are asked, always focus on the difference between the letters. Let me explain you in a better way. So I have already done the analysis here. So always try to find the relationship between the letters. So see, first letter, first word was CMQ. Okay. First word was CMQ. Next is FPT. Next is JTQ. Next is OYC. Now let's just see one by one. Let's just see one by one. So what will happen? So let, let's take first letter first. So C is going to F. C plus three equivalent to F. Okay. D E F. So third number from C will be F. Then fourth number from F will be J. Okay. Then fifth number from J will be O. Then sixth number from O will be U. So you see pattern three, four, five, six. This is the pattern that is getting followed in the first letter of each of these words. Let's just see if the pattern follows in the next also. So M plus three is give, will give you P. P plus four will give you T. T plus five will give you Y. And Y plus seven will give you F not 6 but y plus 7 because y was there z a b c d e and seventh word is f so y plus 7 will give you f this was the middle character 
Now let's just see the last character of each word. So Q plus 3 will give you T, T plus 4 will give you X, X plus 5 will give you C, C plus 6 will give you I. So see, here you can see that everything, every number is following a particular pattern except the last one. So if it had been 6, if it had been also 6 here, then all the all these series was correct. But now it's not 6, it's 7. So y plus 7 equal to f. So it means this is the odd one out series. So this is the wrong term in this particular following series. So correct answer is D, UFI. Okay. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Okay. So guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have TCS NQT exam preparation material. If you will open this material, this particular preparation material consists of all the sections which will be asked in the TCS NQT exam. Okay, each and every section is present in this material and each contain at least 200 previously asked questions of TCS only. So we have verbal ability section, numerical and advanced quantitative section, reasoning and advanced reasoning 150 plus questions, advanced coding questions. All these questions that we are discussing in this material are previously asked uh, questions from TCS NQT exam. Okay, if I will show you the sample of any of these PDFs. So let's just open the, let's suppose numerical ability, let's just open. So you, you will find that we have a proper question. Okay, we have the proper answers and we have given the options also and correct answer also. So for every uh, section that is mentioned here we have previously asked TCS and QT exact questions okay as well as answer so if uh, we know from 15th March TCS and QT exam is starting so how can you prepare by solving the previous year questions and herein you will find four different PDFs each containing previously asked questions from TCS for that particular question, section whether it is uh, advanced or base foundational all questions you will find in this particular uh, material. The link of this material you will find in the description box and it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99. Access is also lifetime but most uh, most importantly it contains all the previously asked section questions from TCS and in a well structured manner. Okay. So link you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So now let's continue with the video. Okay. So guys the next question is in a certain code A mod B. See this is a blood relation question. Okay. A mod B means A is the brother of B. A and B means A is the mother of B. A at the rate B means A is the daughter of B. A dollar B means A is the father of B. And A hash B means A is the sister of B. Now using this statement, you have to find out this relation. This is the complex one. And in the end, once you solve this equation, you need to find how is T related to U. So it's very simple. You just pick up two letters at a time. Okay, two letters at a time, solve their relation and then pick up this letter, solve the relation, then pick this letter, solve the relation, then pick this letter, this combination and solve their relation and finally pick up this combination and solve the, this equation. Okay, Le next when once you made the family tree of all these equations, then you can tell how is T related to you. It's that simple. Okay, uh, so for uh, your convenience, I've already sorted out this family tree so let's just see one by one let me just put it here so that it's easy to see yeah first was k dollar z k dollar z means k is the father of b so k is the father of z so k father z okay k will come up z will come down okay because of the family tree next will be z mod u z mod u means z is the brother of u z is the brother of u so z is the brother of u so it means z is a male okay z is the brother of u i hope it's clear next is u and h u and h means u is the mother of b u is the mother of b u is the mother of h here so u and h u is the mother of h so u is the mother of h it means u is a female next is h hash n h hash n means h is the sister of n h is the sister of n okay this is how we have write, write it next is n at the rate t n at the rate t means n is the daughter of t n is the daughter of t n is the daughter of t so now how t and u are related how t and u are related so see u is the mother of h it means u is female h n is the uh, uh, h is sister of n 
and T is father of N. So it means U and T are husband wife. How is T related to U? T is the husband of U. Okay. So first make the family tree. Then only you will be able to solve these type of questions. Otherwise you won't be remembering these relation and you will like uh, you will end up giving the wrong answer. So correct answer is husband. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's move towards the next question. Okay. So guys the next question is five teachers P, Q, R, S and T teach a group of students in a sequence between 9 to 2 p.m. Each teacher teaches for one hour only. Q takes the first class. S teaches just after T. R teaches before P and T. Who takes the second class from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m.? So first of all, given the relation of each and every teacher, first write write every relation on the piece, okay, on, on paper. So for your reference, I have already written it. Let me just show you. First, what is given? Q takes the first class. So first class is sorted. Total five classes it can take and Q takes the first class. Next is S teaches just after T. So S teaches just after T. This is the second relation. Okay. Next is R teaches before P and T. So R teaches before P and T. So what we need to find? We need to find who takes the second class from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So this is the relation given. Just try to form a single sequence. So it's very simple. So since R and P is before T. Okay. R and P is before T. So R. P, T, S is after T based on first relation and Q is always the first one. So this is the relation that is formed. Now who will take the second class? Who will take the second class? It is R. Okay. It is R. So correct answer here is R. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. And again, I'm telling you every question, write the relation on a piece of paper. It will become very easy to solve. Okay. Now let's move towards the next question. Okay. So guys, the next question is some drills are drugs. No drug is a dam, no drill is a laker, and what is the conclusion? So two conclusions are given to you. See, whenever these type of questions are given to you, some drills are this, no, this is this. So these are Venn diagram based questions. So if you will make Venn diagram of each of the statement that is given, your conclusion will be clear to you. So let's just see what I'm trying to say. So some drills are drugs. So there is a one is a drug Venn diagram, another one is a drill Venn diagram. So some drills are drugs. Okay. So see, some drills are drugs. This is how we are showing that some drills are drugs. So there is some intersection. Okay. No drug is a dam. So no drug is a dam. So there is two possibilities here. Either we make the dam separate out of these two. But see, it is saying no drug is a dam. But a drill can be a dam also. It is safe to assume that. So it might be that dam is here. But it might be that dam is here also. So it's safe to assume any of these things. Next is no drill is a laker. No drill is a laker. So this laker, no drill is a laker. So this is not possible. But drugs can be a laker or or laker can be a side also. That is also two possibilities here. So all the possibilities you will have to keep in mind before answering. So what are the conclusion? Some lakers are drugs. Some lakers are drugs. See, it is given no drill is a laker. No drill is a laker. But some drugs can be a laker. Yes, it is not given. So yeah, so this is a possibility that some drugs can be a laker. Next is some dams are drill. Some dams are drill. So here it is written no drug is a dam. No drug is a dam. It means this is not possible. But some drills can be drugs. Some dams can be drills. Yes, they can be. So yeah, if you will see the options, you, it is clear that if either conclusion one or conclusion two follows. Okay. So this is the correct answer for this question. But you will have to see all the assumptions. You will have to keep all the assumptions with you before answering these type of questions. So I hope now this question is clear to you. Okay, so guys, the next question is given the below question followed by two statements one and two, each containing some information, decide which of the following statements are sufficient to answer the question. What is the height of a triangle? The height and base of a triangle ABC are in the ratio 6 is to 5. So using this information only, can we calculate the area, the height of the triangle? Can we calculate? The height and base are in the ratio 6 to 5. What is base? What is hypotenuse? Nothing is given. So no, using this statement alone, we cannot find out the height of the triangle. Next is, next statement is the area of the triangle ABC is 60 square centimeter. Its perimeter is 36 centimeter and its base is 5 18th of the perimeter of the triangle. 
so using this statement can we find the area uh, the height of the triangle answer is yes because two equations area of triangle perimeter of triangle is given and then the third variable that is its base is also given so using these two or three equations we can alone find the height of the triangle so here the answer will be the c part the data in the second alone is sufficient to answer this question okay i hope this question is clear to you so guys these are all the questions which i needed to discuss in this particular video but i will continue to make such videos in future also do write in the comment section what type of videos for which company you want to see i will be happy to make them okay before ending this video guys please make sure to join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel every like and subscribe motivates us for making more such videos okay and as i have told you earlier in this video uh, we have a tcs nqt preparation material on our top mid page of code bashers which consists of previously asked tcs nqt questions for every section do check out that the links are in the description box they will be very much beneficial for you while you are preparing for your exams so guys thank you for watching this video i will come up with a new video soon